What's up guys, it's Winning. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys a blitz out of the nickel normal. What you can also do is take this concept, this setup, and take it to a 335 Sam, two, uh, 335 Will. I'm pretty sure it works in 245 as well. well this is going to be a man blitz. We'll go over the coverage blitz in another another video, but since cover zero is popular, I'll go over a couple blitzes with you guys here. So you can either come out in LB Blitz 1, Storm Brave, or you can come out in the cornerback blitzing play. The setup is really easy. All you have to do is pinch your linebackers, slant to the left, and contain. And you're going to stand outside the right guard. And what you're generally going to get is this B-gap looping through. Occasionally what you'll get is some edge pressure on the left side where the guy's looping towards. Or well, I'll show you later in the video how you can get right side edge pressure and the B gap to come at the same time. See here the edge came. The setup is the same. I'm just going to show you guys. We can send three. You can send four. You can send five. Uh, this is going to work well versus either either of those. So um, you see, I'm just showing you three now. It's I feel like it's a little bit more consistent with three. Uh, then you can zone the right side of your def defensive line, or you can just leave them on the blitz. So don't, it's up to you. You can spy the D tackle. Uh, I'm gonna show you too. You don't have to use her this linebacker. I just want to show you. You can. You see here the edge pressure came again. Now, if you guys are made this far, and if you haven't subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up on this video if you do enjoy it. Again, the setup is really simple. Pinch your linebacker, slant to the left, and contain. You see. Occasionally, it'll come off the edge. So we're sending five versus five, and we're getting one or two free usually. And most of the time, we're going to be sending three, and we're going to be getting one free. You see here, I grab the safety, loops through. I just want to show you, this is gonna, we're sending five here, but you can send three. You know that, it, you've seen that it works. So here, I'm running the safety again. This time, I'm going to zone the dudes and spy the detackle. And then I leave the diamond up on the running back. You see, he can run across the field. It's not going to mess the blitz up. It's actually going to help the edge pressure come a little bit if they send the running back on a route when they run when they run the uh, the bunch like this or any other play with the running back on the left. You see here, just pinch your linebackers, slant to the left, and contain. Simple. Here is the cornerback blitzing play. Same setup, except you're going to have the cornerback blitzing off the side. And what will happen is the cornerback will come that defensive lineman will come, or the guy who will come through the B-gap will come. So I like to send the, the cornerback blitzing the setup when I know for sure they're blocking the running back. When I know for sure they're blocking the running back, I will send four off the left side, and I'll spy the D-tackle, and I'll man up, man up the end, or I'll flat him, whatever. Do whatever you want with the back end. You don't have to run man coverage every play. But get good with your quick adjustments you see here. The running back doesn't go to the corner. The cornerback comes this time. So it just is, that one's more, not random, but it's one of the three will come on that way when you run it like this with the blitzing corner. And you stand in the same spot, stand outside this right this right tackle. And what will happen if you stand in the same spot I show you in this, in this next part of the video, you'll see what happens when you stand in the same spot. So that's so why I like to keep them the same look, you know? So you see here, I'll show you the replay comes off the edge you see that the tackle did basically lets the end come but the end gets grabbed by the guard the looper the b gap is was coming free but he's cut the cornerback gets there first so here i'm going to call storm brave show you guys storm brave you don't have to call the cornerback blitzing play so this is the part where i was telling you you can get the edge pressure and you can get the b gap you see that's demarcus lawrence and vanderesh so those aren't the fastest guy on the fastest guys on my team which i'll show you the replay you see Edge pressure on the right, and the looper comes at the same time. Now I'm going to put in some faster guys so you can see what it will really look like when you put the fastest guys on the on these two spots here. The left linebacker and the right defensive end are generally going to be, all in your left defensive end are going to be you want your fastest pass rushers there on the left end and the right end. And then uh, someone fast at the B gap, preferably with block shed. If they, if they get grabbed, they can shed. Pinch your linebacker, slant left, contain, stand where I stand, and you'll get this pressure. You see how fast it came with Micah. Now, like I said, this is a really good blitz setup because we can get three types of pressure. The left side B-gap, the looping B-gap, 
or we can get right side uh, lineman pressure off the right side. So it can come three ways. It's same setup. If you guys enjoyed, let me know below. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good night.